Right then, folks, here we go. Jaguar XJS V12. This doesn't look a bad little motor. I say little, they're quite big actually, aren't they? Uh, another one, what Derek collected the other day, I believe that came with it. So um, I will get into redo a couple of videos with me. You can tell you a bit of background, as we all like to know where they came from, etc., etc. Uh, but I'll tell you about the car itself, what I've just seen as I've been going around photographing and videoing. Um, it doesn't look a bad, bad car, to be fair. There's a few little bits which obviously first stuck out. A couple of dings, I don't know how, um, going down, certainly this driver's side anyway. A couple on this front wing. A couple on this door are going, to be fair, not many on that back panel. There was one somewhere, I think, I noticed. Oh, yeah, there we go, at this end. So it's had a couple of dings down this side. Roof looks good. The uh, the boot looks good, boot lid. And again, same, just a few little bits here and there going down. So I don't know what's caused that. It's a bit strange, but anyhow. So there's a few minor dings going around the car. Not scratches, just, just dings. There's a few little marks in places, so it's not concourse by any means, but it's the right eye for the car. Lovely wheels, good tyres, chrome work around the front's good. So, well, the full, full, the full front bumper in general is in good condition. Same with light surrounds and bits and pieces. I'll put the bonnet down in a minute for you. Have a look in the rear. Fairly straight under the bonnet. Sound deadening's all intact. Bonnet lips and edges and things are good. Engine bay itself. All okay, you can't really make these look too pretty, can you? There's stuff absolutely everywhere, but um, all just as it should be, and um, yeah, all presentable, etc. So, oh, I need to go that side, I want, there we go. Bonnet itself is um, is very straight. That just wants adjusting, there you go. But no, nice around the front end, good number plate. Like I say, wheels and tyres are good. Arches don't seem too bad. Little bit here and there, look as you go around it. Once the dressing, same on the bottom of that door. So like I say, not concourse, in need of a little bit. Nice and tidy in the boot area. Full size spare there in the back. Carpet and things are good, bit of a tool kit and such by the looks of it. Straight under the boot lid as well. Same round here. Again. Little bits in places, as mentioned. Rear back window's good, chrome works good. Interior wise, door shuts are lovely. We've got no drama down here, by the way. Little bit, if you're being fussy, like, bit of surface stuff. But this side's okay, obviously been done. The other side does want attention. But door shuts are good. Door cards are lovely. Same on the inner step and things there. Seats, minimal wear, very good seats. Same with the centre console, uh, an armrest and such like. Dashboard's good, nice dash top on it, nice dash cluster. All the wooden things aren't too bad round there. Rear seats are good as well. There you go. Lovely headlining, really nice headlining. I haven't heard or had this started yet, so here we go. First impressions look 76959 is showing on the clock. Straight up. Oh, a bit. Right. There we go. This is from Stone Cold, by the way. You wouldn't have been run for a day or two over the weekend. Engine sounds alright though sticking over there by itself there you go sounds sweet enough so here we go guys xjs sits down on display at thornton dale get yourself down come and have a look see what you think